Hey guys, welcome back to the ultimate deck boat build and welcome back to Redbeard Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be assembling some parts on the wall and the step that I painted the other day. So let's jump into that and get that going. There's a lot of noise out here, so I'll uh, talk to you guys here in a little bit. There's the step in the wall. Got the blue lights in it, the vents, and the control switches. And I also have the charging plug right there. God, that looks sharp. If I do say so myself, pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, I have an idea for the hinge for this guy. It's gonna open up like this once I figure it out. And then um, I might, if I have some extra padding, I might put some padding across this um, just to kind of not make that step 100 degrees when I step on it because since it's black. So I might uh, put that floor mat across there to, to help uh, if I'm walking around on my bare feet when I'm on the boat. So. Um, if I have enough leftover material, I'll do that and I will show you guys how that looks. Alright guys, I got another package to open here, so let's jump right into it, I'll show you what it is. Here it is guys, I got a padded deck mat that I'm going to put on, the, on top of the deck, and like I mentioned before, I might put it on top of my step, but uh, let's give the... Uh, Let's give you guys a better closer look at this. It's actually pretty soft to the touch. Um, I was a little worried about that. Uh, the true test is going to be standing on it for a long time. Let's see if it uh, helps uh, prevent tiredness and whatnot. So that'll be the true test, but uh, I will be putting this on here before too long and I'll keep you guys posted on how I like it and whatnot in a later video. I had some dog crates laying around so I really need to get this thing flat. It's pretty uh, rolled up and it likes to uh, pull back up on me. So I'm thinking, you know, when it comes time to uh, try to get this to stick to the deck, it's gonna be hard so you're gonna want it flat as possible. The reason I have it outside is it's pretty warm out. It was 80 degrees today. So the cement should be pretty hot and help with, uh, you know, flattening this pad out. Whereas if it was in the garage, it's kind of cold in there and the concrete would be pretty cold. So I'll probably have to do this a couple times out here uh, on warm days and try to get it to flatten out and uh, eventually stick it to the deck once it's, uh, cooperating and flattened out quite a bit okay next day here guys I'm going to push really hard to get the boat assembled today all I have to do with painting that's left 
is the underside of that trolling motor box right there. So I'm gonna do that first so it has time to dry. It's about 80 degrees out, so it should dry really fast. Then everything's gonna get screwed back into place. Hinges are gonna be put on. Everything's gonna get mounted. And then I'm gonna work on the padding. So I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Oh, I, I did miss something. I am going to use this to uh, reinstall to the top part, but I have to cut it up first. So I'm not gonna end up using all this wood I made right here. So I should probably subtract that out of the budget, which I'm going to do. I'm not gonna count that. Um, I think it was a good idea, but I, overall, I think this will just be prettier and a nicer install. So I'm gonna put that back in. I have a riveting gun. I think I need to go look at it. I think it'll work to put it back in there. So uh, stay with me on this adventure today and uh, hopefully the boat deck is in working order, all except for any kind of electrical item. The only thing I might wire up is the trolling motor. Um, you know, spring is here in full force. The fish are biting and the boat is unusable right now so i really want to get it usable i don't need all the electronics running on it right now so uh update on the boat trailer is it is still going on uh they're having a hard time finding some parts for it but i called them this week and they said they're getting very close to being done so hopefully i can get it this week and maybe next weekend i can go fishing we'll see no promises but stay tuned I have a small paintbrush for the painting that's about to take place so it's probably going to take me a while to paint this so i'll have to really speed up this time lapse and make it go really fast for you guys so let's get going What do you think, Shandy? Good job? Yeah. So, this is the bottom side of the trolling motor pan deck here. And I got it all painted with the primer. Water resistant primer. And um, it's not perfect and it is drying fast out here in this heat. I think I got a sunburn on my neck. But oh well, she's painted and she'll be dried here before no time. I'm gonna do the next majority of my work inside the garage. It's a little bit cooler in there. Let's get to cutting on this aluminum. Well guys, I got pretty lucky. First cut, first fit. Um, I didn't want to cut the top off. I wasn't for sure how far I should go. I went a hair too long. Just a hair. Not a big deal. Um, I think I can still make it look good. But like I said, with that in there, doesn't it look sharper than any piece of wood that would be in there? I think it does. Hopefully I can learn um, how to use that rivet gun I've never used it before and all these rivet holes line right up so hopefully I can just pop them right back in there. I need to see how many rivets I have. I need to take a look at the gun. I've never used it before. I bought it in an auction with a group of uh, junk pretty much so I just happen to have one. If I didn't have one I'd probably put some screws in so that's an alternative option for you guys. Let me finish cutting this up and then I'll start thinking about how to rivet this. Okay guys, I don't have the right tool to make this kind of cut. So I did a lot of drilling and uh, I'm gonna use a file and clean this up. I'm also gonna file these edges 
and smooth those out so I don't cut myself on them. But I got that started and I, uh, gonna finish cutting that out. All right, guys, we got the hole drilled. Kelly wanted to step in the Dremel Queen and finish this up for me, so I let her. Um, let's see if it fits. Like a glove. I wish we had the right tool to do this, but we didn't, so we had to improvise. You guys might have to do the same, so just a uh, thought process if um, you ever run into something like this. All right, I, uh, I've been filing. I need to do some more and finish up and make these edges a lot smoother. Okay, I think this is as good as I can get it. If you guys are wondering why I'm burning the carpet, when I cut this, there's a bunch of loose strings and fuzzy carpet and stuff. Well, this burns it off and it kind of uh, melts it down so it doesn't unravel itself. Um, and it kind of hardens. So that way, over time, this doesn't you know start unraveling and unpeeling and stuff. So. I uh, wanted to give it a burned edge and um, I took the file to it as much as possible. Uh, I got it fairly smooth. I don't think I'm going to cut myself on it. Fingers crossed. I see a couple more uh, rivets I need to get out and I'm going to install the trolling motor plug. I'm going to vacuum this off and look into getting it installed. So. Let's get going on that. Okay guys, instead of vacuuming this, I've decided to spray it off, get it completely clean. There's a lot of dirt and debris in it. So I'm gonna clean it off with uh, some water and a hose and uh, then get it installed. Sprayed off the carpet, got it all cleaned up. I'm not even joking that it weighs 10 more pounds with water on it than without water. So it is true what they say that water or that carpet holds a lot more water and weight. So um, that's why I didn't go with carpet on my deck. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use that padding that you guys saw. And I'll probably show you that here in, later in this video. But here it is all cleaned off. Like I mentioned, cut a little too far here and here. But that's all right. Um, no one's gonna see it. It'll be inside the storage container. We're gonna let that dry. I got a lot of uh, cleanup to do in the garage. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. But uh, I'll have that clean here, lickety split. All right, let's clean this up. Bam! Look at that, nice and clean. I'm probably gonna pull the truck in tonight. There's some thunderstorms, so got this cleaned out. Now I need to start cleaning up the boat. Okay, when you guys get back, um, I'm going to have this boat clean and get ready for installation on the inside. So, see you guys here in a little bit. And bam, she's clean. You guys did not mess anything. Took me about an hour to vacuum all this up. I used a mixture of a flathead screwdriver, an air compressor, blowgun, and the vacuum to really deep clean into the carpet and get all the wood and metal shavings out of it. It was a project and I didn't want to bore you guys with that. The top of the aluminum carpet decking is almost dry and I'm going to uh, fit it into place. The decking is still a little wet. I'm going to let that keep drying. I'm going to put the trolling motor back on. I know there was talks of possibly buying a new trolling motor. Well, with COVID-19 and all that stuff going on right now, um, it's not in the budget anymore. So I'm going to have to hold on on that until another day. Um, I really hope to get one soon. But since I'm not getting it today, I'm going to install the trolling motor before I put any of my decking stuff on because it's just going to make it that much easier to install.
Trolling motor is halfway on. All right, let's put the decking in. Okay guys, just took a look at my uh, rivet gun and it's not gonna work. Uh, the rivets are too small, it's for a 1 8 rivet. These are probably, I don't, I don't know rivets, but they're way bigger than 1 8 so. Um, I don't know what to do next other than I'm gonna try these stainless steel screws first. And if that doesn't work, I'll start looking for something better. All right, the rivets, the screws, everything fell through and it's not gonna work, so. I'm going to have to maybe like run to Home Depot or True Value and look into a large screw that I can screw in to uh, these holes. They're pretty big diameter holes, so it'll take a pretty thick screw to do it. So that's not going to happen today, which means I'll have to do it later, which is going to make it even harder once I have everything installed. But that's okay. I can work around it um, and deal with it in the future. So. Uh, Next up, it's um, time to put some framing in. Let's get started. Actually, before I get the framing in, I'm going to install the trolling motor plug right there and wire it up and uh, make sure that everything is working with the trolling motor. So let's do that first before we do the framing because I'll have more room to uh, maneuver around in here. I think my trolling motor screwed the pooch. Um, I'm not going to show you most of it. I was trying to get it all installed and about, I don't know, an hour or so later, I can't get it to um, work or anything. So I got out the old voltmeter and there's power running through the plug. So I don't know if something screwed up in the pedal or what happened. I'm not sh sure what the deal is. I think what that means is I need to buy a new trolling motor. And I know I said the budget's tight right now, but I could probably squeeze one in. Um, I'll look into that some more and get back to you guys on that. Well, guys, we hit roadblock after roadblock after roadblock today. And today did not go very smooth. And like I was hoping it would. So with the thoughts of a new trolling motor in mind, um, I'm going to have to sleep on that. And then before I put the decking up, I need to uh, install the trolling motor first. So I definitely want to get that done beforehand. So I'm not sure how to move forward from here other than I think right now what I'm going to do is get the uh, wall and step put in. I'm not gonna mount it to the boat yet, but I'm gonna mount the step to the wall. Um, we need the top decking on to uh, place the wall. So we definitely wanna make sure we have all that in order before we mount the wall to the boat. That just looks awesome. I got the step mounted to the wall. The hinges are on. This opens up like so. Okay. So back on the, the trolling motor, I uh, did all new wiring right here. Didn't record that, but um, I'm gonna place the batteries probably right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I drive the boat, the I sit over there behind the steering wheel and the boat leans pretty hard to the right with my weight. So I kind of want to counterbalance the batteries and the fuel tanks in the back with my weight when I'm driving. So if you guys 
think this is a terrible idea. That's why I'm doing it. I'm going to place the batteries about right here. Um, I thought pretty hard about this. I used to have them down in there, which was nice, but I'm going to move them back into the side uh, to help with that boat driving scenario I just told you guys about. I also have the trolling motor plug installed right there. It's a pretty nice install. I need to find screws to mount this decking down but that's a project for another day um it won't be too bad with all the uh the decking on and once i get the lid to swing open it won't be a big deal i can i can still reach in here and get those screws in so it shouldn't be that big of a project it would be way easier to do it now but i don't have the screws on me so anyways let's get started on the framing Okay guys, progress so far. I tested the trolling motor, I got it plugged in and it works, so that's good. Now we gotta get this next part of the deck on. And that trolling motor box came out awesome. Uh, it cleaned up real nice with that paint and silicone so if you're still wondering why that's white um just a reminder that i'm going to be putting this deck padding on there so i'm afraid i'm probably gonna have to buy another roll so there is that so next i'm gonna get this deck on one last thing is i need to put that support board in the front of the deck right there so let's do that real quick guys what do you think so far i think my fishing is going to be so much better with this deck and i know a lot of you people are thinking why pretty much the main reason i did this was to get rid of this this huge lip because my deck used to be about to here and i had a huge lip this will allow me to be up higher sight fish better and have more storage and then i also now have a recessed pedal box which should not fatigue uh, me standing all day as much and then we are also going to pad this and make it softer so let me grab that pad and show you what that'll look like all right there's the 
pad it'll give this a nice clean look up here it's getting pretty late tonight i'm not gonna put that on tonight but i just want to give you a feel for what it looked like so um i have not put on the gas strut yet that gas strut's not going in until i figure out the latching mechanisms which will be fun to figure out i am trying to figure out a template and having all sorts of problems to figure out how I'm going to do this latch. I don't know what the strat is on that, but I'll figure something out and give you guys an update on that later. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, it was kind of a long one. I had a lot going on in this episode, but if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe down below and stay tuned for more Redbeard Outdoors episodes. Remember, get outdoors and keep having fun with your boat. I'll catch you guys on the next one.